Who's next? Our next guest is CrowdStrike, and we have the CEO, George Kurtz. George, I'm going to give you the mic here, and as we tee up your presentation, um, you know, a, a long history in this space. You founded Foundstone, where you are also the CTO of McAfee. So, uh, Ooh, the McAfee? spot McAfee, you've heard of them. Small company? Yeah, small yeah. company. Now we now so this is, this is the new stuff. So you have three minutes to tell us about CrowdStrike. Fantastic. Well, CrowdStrike is a big data technology company that's focused on identifying and preventing the damage from targeted attacks. Some might call those APTs. We like to call them targeted attacks. Um, I like to say that we don't have a mission statement. We're on a mission. And we're on a mission to fundamentally change the way people think about security. And the way that we do that is by hiring the very best people in the industry. I literally handpicked the best technologists as well as ex-law enforcement personnel. For example, Sean Henry was the number two person in all the FBI who, who was involved in every investigation cyber related over the last five years. Mm -hmm. So my time at McAfee taught me a few things. One is that defense in depth is challenged and that most organizations who have a firewall, who have antivirus, who have intrusion prevention, they're still getting attacked and they're losing intellectual property by the billions of dollars. I'm sure you've seen this on the news on a daily basis. And unfortunately, most organizations think they have a malware problem. The reality is they have an adversary problem. CIOs cannot fundamentally answer a simple question, who is on my network? It's not about the malware, it's about the adversary who's behind the keyboard. So from a, a CrowdStrike perspective, there's three areas of focus for us. Uh, first is intelligence. We provide intel as a service. We're basically replicating what's been done in the government, providing classified level intelligence in an unclassified world. We sell that as a subscription, and uh, it's very, very impactful for organizations who want to understand who their adversary is, and what steps they can take to, to identify them and mitigate their damage. The second area is very high-end services, and those services are focused on response, and being able to identify, again, who's on your network, uh, respond to them, get them off your network, protect your intellectual property, and then something that we're really pioneering, which is strike, which is offensive security. Now, it's not breaking in back in the systems, but it's using deception, uh, denial, and disruption to cause more pain to the adversary to increase their cost. The third area is the technology, which is the crown jewel of the company. This is a big data platform. Uh, it's predictive analytics and being able to identify and share these TTPs, tactics, techniques, and procedures between customers and be able to identify the adversaries and link who the adversary is to the tools they actually are using to what their intent is. So instead of hearing uh, you got hit by download or XYZ, we can tell you it's this Chinese group, this particular campaign, and they're targeting your negotiation documents. So at the end of the day, we've got a world-class team that we've assembled. Uh, these are folks who have done it at scale in small organizations and run some of the largest uh, software security companies in the world. We've got a technology platform that I think we, we think is going to change the way people think about uh, security. And we've got very high-end uh, services and intelligence subscription uh, capabilities that uh, I think will rival governments in what we can deliver to the to the commercial world. So with that, that's CrowdStrike. All right. With 10 seconds to go. Thanks, George. Thank yeah. you. Well you I like that deception and disruption and oh, it's very... Spooky. Well, we've got the... Ch this is just very, very much a changing, a moving target, the whole security scenario for enterprises. And uh, I think we need something a little more aggressive like that. But uh, I'm not going to be the judge. I'm going to turn it over to our in-house judges here, and uh, I'll go to Bloonzy this time oh, first. Yeah. Yeah. I love that pitch, so I'm going to give you a 10. Whoa, 10. I think it's very Bloonzy. disruptive, what you're doing. All right. Okay, I'm not going to give you a 10. <laughs> so first, a couple of questions, just very quickly. What's the pricing model? We haven't launched the product yet. Okay. Not launched yet. All right. The other Let's components see. are launched. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yep. Okay. So it's a... What you've got here is a lot of promise. I've never heard a single startup come to me and say, we, we hire the shittiest people that I can think of, and that's how we're going to build a company. <laughs> Everybody says we're going to hire the greatest people. Everybody says we're going to have the best technology. And so at this point, I get it's hard for you to show. But I can't see an ROI based on me buying a chunk of your really, really smart people and really, really smart technology versus other ways that I could possibly combat some of these same problems. So partially because you're such an early phase startup, it's hard to see how this is actually gonna work in a way that pays off for me as a customer. So, six. Okay, all right. Charlie. Well, I, I liked what I heard. I <clears throat> think there must be some investment behind the company for you to have gotten this far. Uh, I am worried that we don't have any 
proof of concept. We don't have. We already have customers on. Okay, we have customers. And technology side. The government still gets yeah. broken into, but you've got you do have good government information. And from what I hear, um, uh, it that's not enough, but it's a great start. I like the commitment and I like the approach. Okay, all right, nine. Great, thank well you. Well done, George. Thanks very much. Thanks, okay, great.